there's one side of things that we teach female entrepreneurs about strategy, yeah. but sometimes they don't do it. And you're like the secret weapon <laughs> about how to get them to, to be more in their business, but also more than that, isn't it? So tell us a little bit about what is it you do for women in particular, isn't it? Yeah. So I work with um, like women all over the world who are either in business or they're in leadership mm. and they are really struggling with the emotional blocks that come up whilst they're trying to keep moving forward. And what happens is they can deal with the emotional stuff for so long on their own, but then it turns into physical pain. Yeah. And they start getting migraines or headaches or hip pain or digestive issues, neck pain, and then it stops their business because it gets to the stage where they just don't want to, you know, they can't, they're, they're in so much pain or they just don't feel well, so they begin to procrastinate um, and the business starts to slide. Yeah, and then I assume that that would affect every area of their life. It really does. Like, if, I really believe that if the woman of the family isn't, you know, 100% healthy, yeah. it really affects her children, her partner and her animals as well. Um, and that's why I do what I do, because I can work with a woman and the animals. Wow. So.